Scorpio, come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name's Jen Dawson, welcome to Jam TV. All right, Scorpio, what do you need to know about love? What guidance has the universe got for you in love today? Bear in mind, well, obviously, it's a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. But if it does, take a look in the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. You could also purchase individual videos via my website, gentilytarot.com. Or if you join my channel. I'm back to doing private readings again. So you can purchase those via my website, gentilytarot.com. You can only purchase them via my website. You have to come to me. I'm never going to come to you, okay? Scorpio, what do you need to know about love? I'm not one of those readers who sugarcoats things. If you know me, you know me, you know, you know that. I'm not always going to be doing nice readings. This is one of those days. So, uh, buckle up. Have a little bit of patience because it's going to suck for a little while, but it's going to get better, okay? I see that. And I'm going to help you find a way of digging yourself out of this mess and getting to the good stuff, okay? I'm not just going to leave you stranded. <sighs> All right. I'm just trying to think how where, how where to break the news first. So the overall vibe of the reading is... Four of Swords in Reverse. Not too bad. Time of healing, regenerating, um, yeah. That's the nicer meanings of the cards. I'm kind of getting with the rest of it here that it's sort of a feeling of being freaking done burnt out because of this because of love i get you i get you it's like you've got nothing left to give you've got nothing left it's you've you've given your all in any relationship that's come along you've been true you've been beautiful and wonderful and loyal and loving you've given your all and all that's been given back to you is just betrayal just the worst kinds of betrayal you know why it's because you're you're a being of light and when when you are you go through a lot of pain because the lower vibrational succubus type things are well they're sort of attracted to your glory and wonderfulness so yeah yeah kind of have to go through a lot of crap and you have that is done you are now burnt out and you're over it and you can't take any more. You're done. Things are about to get good. Okay. Tell me more about this. Again, you know, I, I want to try and find the nicer meaning in cards. The Ten of Swords is... It's horrible. I know. I see it. But... This, this is... This is good. Alright? This is... There's no space for any more swords. 
that's good. Like no more betrayals can happen because that's that's it. Space is space is done, right? Ah, good. There's hope. There's hope. This is this is where I I need to get your attention. I need you to pay attention here, now, because this is where your path changes. This is where I help you. Now you can keep going, going down the same path and meeting the same people, same types of people. You have a type, let's say. Let's say that, that whole, uh, I got this from, uh, it's a book. I'll show you the book, hold on. Where is it? Here we go. Love Tarot. I'm writing my own Love Tarot book, but this is Love Tarot by Joan Daniels. Let's just say, for argument's sake, it could be something else, but this is like, she says like the wounded poet type, penniless musician. You're going to keep going for that type or, you know, whatever type you, you know, bad boy, bad girl. If you're going to keep going for that type, that's the energy you're going to pull back in is that you're always going to end up being hurt and betrayed and broken. So that's the type that needs to go. That's the road that you need to not go down ever again. You need to get a new type. You need to start looking in different places for love. It's like having a new beginning, yeah. But this is a double-edged sword, isn't it? Now you can... Uh, you can keep going down the same path and you're always going to meet the same type of person. Or you can... Mm, step out of your comfort zone, which is not that freaking comfortable, let's be honest. And start dating a different type. The other side of the sword might not be as sharp. Give it a try. I want to say things like, uh, it's almost like you've learned in the past to hide certain things about yourself, like your real feelings, your needs. Um, Communicate that. Don't be afraid of that anymore. Anything else you need to know? I'm now on the other path. I'm reading from the other path now. We've taken you off that path. The one that sucks. Because it did look pretty bad. Now that I'm talking about the different path where you start looking for a different type of person. Get a new type. That's where happiness lies. What's coming up in the near future? Someone you need to let go of, my love. Somebody in particular you need to let go of. There's no happiness that lies there. It's hard to let go of somebody. I know. I have a twin flame. And uh, that is the wildest ride I think I've ever been on. And I married a freaking rock star. <laughs> that was a crazy ride. <laughs> But this one's been crazier. Uh, this is someone that um, has been intensely hard to let go of. It's been a very hard journey with this person. This is all about illusions. Any idea of having happiness and love with that person is an illusion. 
they'll never be this. They will never ever be this balanced, um, generous, thoughtful. Sorry, I haven't I got chipped nail polish. Terrible of me. They're never gonna be this, ever. It's time that you got your head around that and put this one to bed. This person is never going to be good for you. So can we take you off of that path now? You're never going to get good news. You're never going to get the answers that you want. You're never going to get the closure that you want. You're never going to get the love that you want. The apology that you want. Never. So it's time to close that door now. You can close it because they're never going to close it for you. You can give yourself closure here. The best that you can hope for is that that is who this person is always going to be. This is someone who's controlling, um, domineering, uh, a bit of a loser to be honest as well. Down on their look. That's what you're always going to get from this. So it's time to take yourself up that path. It's time to say to yourself, right, this person has literally destroyed me. And I'm going to move on from that. I'm going to pick up the pieces, dust myself off, and uh, walk away from this buffoon. Right now, this is how you feel. Weak. But you're not. Hark, I see a future that is, I don't know, it's a little bit different without them. A newer side of you comes out that's uh, enthusiastic, opinionated, uh, but in a good way. I think without them, your free spirit, that thing that's been trapped, that is let out of its cage and it's never going to go back in again. You're going to grow from this. You are going to see that there's something to look forward to. I'm going to read the outcome here now then i'm going to take it into the extended we'll ask about them how do they really feel about you all of that but to be honest with you leave that path just leave it there is no happiness with that person or that type of person to get a new type so the outcome we've got Six of Pentacles in reverse. In this connection, and any connection like this, it's always going to be you putting in more than them. One-sided. When you free yourself, from this path that you've been on and step into the whole new path that I've just I've shown you it's there it, it exists you can be happy on this other path that's where you meet people who are emotionally available and you find joy harmony and happiness oops that does exist for you you just gotta leave this behind this is not your person this person you're never gonna get what you need from them I just want to stress that Your dreams need a practical plan. So let's think about it. Where do you want to be in a year's time? 
Start journaling that, writing it out, planning it out. Where do you want to be? What do you want? Because the universe actually really wants to give you what you want. It does. It can't give you what you want if you don't know. So uh, give it a hand, figure it out, and then it'll do do you uh, do you a bit of a favour. All right. Many, many, many nights go by. I sit alone at home and cry over you. What can I do? Can't help myself. Baby, it's you. -na 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 -na. Baby, it's you by the Beatles. Girl, that one reminds me of my Twitter bloom. All right, see you in the extended. Bye.